my name's Mark Darling, I work at the Port Perry Waste Transfer Station. So when the yellow bins get collected, we would collect each fortnight about 32 to 50 tonne of recycling. All our recycling goes to Norma, which is the accredited, so all our recycling is getting recycled. My name's Peter Anjani and my role here is an operator. I love what I do. We have about eight different bins. We have green ones for cardboard, we have steel bins, we have uh, hard plastic bins, and we have a timber bin uh, for timber. So we also do paper and cardboard clean recycling, and we average about 10 tonne a week. At Batteries and Light Globe, we've got a partner in Adelaide and they get all the alkaline and all the diodes out of them and recycle them that way. Uh, E-Waste is a good one, it's actually a free service to dump off. Anything with a cord on it, you can bring out to the transfer station, except for like white goods and stuff like that, purely because they've got gas in them. A container every month goes out of E-Waste, which is about five tonne. Every third day we might take away 18 tonne of recyclables. Uh, then after that it's tidy the shed up, ready for the public. So if recycling goes into Red Bin, it's unfortunately contaminated so we can't actually recycle it. So anything that's recycled would be great to put in the yellow bin. In comparison to what we did in the old day to what we do today, recycling is the main thing. Where everything used to just go into landfill, get rolled, covered and squashed. Now it's controlled, it's put into correct areas and a lot of it's reused so less is going into landfill. Recycling in Port Perry is very important. We want to leave a clean footprint for future people to come and um, it's a great way to start what we're doing now.